Oh, <coughs> it's recording, is it? Ah, oh, wait up, wait up. Uno. Este también, but this one is two, I think. So with this one, you are. Second Nagorno-Karabakh War, Wikipedia. See, Second Nagorno-Karabakh War was an armed conflict in 2020 that took place in the disputed region of Nagorno-Karabakh and surrounding territories. It was a major escalation of an unresolved conflict over the region involving Gazerbaijan, Armenia and Fee self-declared Dominion and breakaway state Osartfaks. The war lasted for more than a month and resulted in Azerbaijani victory, with Armenia ceding set territories it had occupied in 1990 for surrounding Nagorno-Karabakh. The deceit ignited anti-government protests in Armenia. Post-war skirmishes continued in the region, including substantial classes in 2022. Second Nagorno-Karabakh war part of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict areas captured by Azerbaijan during the war. Areas ceded to Azerbaijan under Sassari agreement areas in Nagorno-Karabakh proper remaining under the control of Sartfaklachin corridor. And a Devank monastery, patrolled by Russian peacekeepers for a more detailed map, See the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict detailed map date. 27 September 2020, 2020 to 9-27-10th November 2020, 2020 to 11 10 one months and to weeks 30 location Nagorno-Karabakh. On surrounding Armenian occupied territories, Armenia-Azerbaijan border result Azerbaijani victory, 31-32. Fee fire agreement seen on 10 November 2020, 30 Russian peacekeeping forces deployed to the region, 33 territorial changes during the conflict. Azerbaijan regains control of five cities, the towns, 286 villages, 30 from the entire Azerbaijan-Iran border post fee fire. Azerbaijan retains control of territories captured during the war, all Armenian-occupied territory surrounding the Gorno-Karabakh feet are back to Azerbaijan by one. December 2020 35 all economic and transport connections in the region to be unblocked, including transport connections between Archivan and the rest of Azerbaijan belligerents. Azerbaijan fury and mercenaries are for 5678. Turkey alleged by Armenia 9 10 11 supported by Turkey 12 13 bond suppliers. Israel 17 18. Artfa Can you read from down here? Can you make it or to go back to where it was? Hey, on the selected one, is it? This is it. Oh, it's got all that. And play. Position. Position, okay.
Ah, se cortó, mira. No tenía todo listo. Bueno, pues, con la amiga. Eh. Oye, no interrumpí, sí, 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 How do you do that? Is it gonna get really quickly or what? Come on. Okay, read that. Read that then. Read that. No, po. No, po, my amigo. Ah, Serafakia. Vice President of Azerbaijan Wikipedia. Okay, just wait. Sevish President of Azerbaijan is the second highest constitutional office in Azerbaijan after Se President. The first and current vice president, if first lady Raban Aliyeva, got Ilham Ali. Okay, it's winning. You fucked it anyway. It was this one. It's the same fucking shit. So we're not gonna. Oh, they won't go to save page. No, I'm doing it wrong now. Canada's responsibility in the Nagorno-Karabakh crisis. This article has been translated in to French. For the people of the Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh, also known as Artfak, a breakaway state predominantly inhabited by ethnic Armenians since time immemorial, 2021 looks as bleak as 2020 was tragic. On Seb 27, 2020, at the height of a global pandemic, Azerbaijan and Turkey initiated a large-scale, unprovoked war against Artfak in a bid to reaffirm authority over the region despite the unwavering will of the people of Artfak to exercise their right to self-determination for over 30 years. The gamble largely paid off as the international community turned a blind eye to acts of aggression and atrocity. Crimes, standing quietly by until Rafa finally broke a fire aid statement between Armenia on behalf of Artfak and Azerbaijan on November. 10, bringing a fragile into 40 for days of war that left thousands of casualties and a humanitarian crisis in its wake while leaving the key issue of Arctic's final status unresolved and making the prospect of renewed attack by Azerbaijan more than likely. Canada's reaction has been underwhelming at best, and at worst, tacitly complicit. On Oct. 5, Francois Philippe Champagne, who was then Minister of Foreign Affairs, announced its suspension of all relevant export permits to Turkey after becoming aware of allegations of Canadian technology being used in the military conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh, adding Canada is concerned by the conflict which he acknowledged has resulted in selling of communities and civilian casualties. Praise for the minister's action quickly turned to outrage, however. When it became clear that these permits for drone targeting sensors that Turkey has been accused of using in attacks should never have been granted in the first place. Their issuance was contrary to Fix Bought and Import Permits Act as well as Canada's obligations under FIAM's trade treaty. In fact, to mere months before the Turkish Azerbaijani offensive, Canada allowed the permits to be issued in spring 2020, making an exemption to a ban in place since October 2019 as part of an arms embargo in response to Turkey's invasion of Fyria. The exemption allowed the export of the Canadian Westcom technology to Turkey here. 11. These components would later be in Artfak in October 2020, fully embedded in Turkish Bayraktar drones. The circumstances surrounding Canada's issuance of permits to export military technology to Turkey remain unexplained, and the government's purported investigation on the matter remains pending. Meanwhile, 
Canada has done little more than issue statements calling on the warring parties to negotiate peacefully and for Turkey to stay out of the conflict, all of which have fallen on deaf ears. Canada has thus contributed, however unwittingly, to the humanitarian crisis in Artfak by arming the aggressor. Its tepid reaction effectively amounts to doing nothing at all, despite Canada's proclaimed commitment to the UN. Doctrine of to responsibility to protect a tupa. This stipulates that if a country is unable or unwilling to protect its civilians from mass atrocities, the international community must act swiftly to fill the protection void. Countries also have obligations to ensure that they do not contribute to mass atrocities outside their borders and, at minimum, refrain from exacerbating atrocity crimes of other states. To be sure, nobody expected Canada to intervene militarily. Canada did, however, have opportunities to take a principled stance against wanton aggression and for human rights. One such opportunity was presented by Conservative Fenitalia Havakos, who introduced, on October 28, Motion No. 36 calling on the government of Canada to immediately condemn the joint Azerbaijani-Turkish aggression against the Republic of Artfak. Uphold the ban on military exports to Turkey. Yeah, but <clears throat> the government of Canada, wasn't it? Or wasn't it the government of Canada? <clears throat> Any question, anybody listening, reply, fuck them up, mate. You too. Recognise the Republic of Artsakh's inalienable right to self-determination and in light of further escalation and continued targeting of innocent Armenian civilians, recognise the independence of... Fuck him up because he's fuck him up because he's fuck him up. You know, and any question and reply, you whatever, you contribute, you do whatever, do what you can, what you got to do anyway. Family are nice, cooking nice food, Merry Christmas. The Republic of Artfak. R2P elaborates a range of options for time... Merry Christmas, I love you. For timely and decisive response. However, every situation is different and calls for case, specific action. In the case of Artvac, the measure of remedial secession or recognition could be particularly relevant and effective in definitively resolving a decades-long standoff that keeps rearing its ugly head with no end in sight. It may also be appropriate where atrocity crimes may be underway against the peoples vying for Self-determination, especially if the lack of recognition constitutes an impediment to states and flash or international organisations in reaching affected areas. Canada's recognition in 1972 of Bangladesh, as it was then called, for instance, was premised on the understanding that only by recognising it could Canada provide the aid necessary to prevent a major humanitarian catastrophe. In light of the French Parliament's near-unanimous adoption of resolutions on of 25 and Ec. Three, calling on the French government to, among other things, recognise Artfac, adopting Motion No. 36, could likewise have constituted an appropriate response. A legal analysis of Canada's options and obligations in this respect can be found here. Few senators spoke on Havakos's motion, and Avatu was called on December 8 after independent Senator Peter Berm, a former career diplomat, argued that Canada simply cannot recognise the Republic of Artfac. He urged senators to choose a real politic over principle and, bizarrely, to be mindful of engaging with diaspora communities, which he described as strong and well-organised, especially the Armenian community. This despite the gravity of the situation involving their historic homeland and, apparently, Canada's own role in exacerbating the violence. His reducing of legitimate concerns about mass atrocity crimes and possible Canadian complicity to mere bickering among ethnic communities under the guise of Diaspora politics seemed to satisfy his honourable colleagues, and the motion was foundly defeated, with senators from for government representative office, set progressive Fennet group, and an overwhelming majority of by independent senators group voting against. No amendments were proposed. Continued indifference to the plight of the Armenians of Artfak is unacceptable. Not only were the 40 for days of war rife with reports of the use of Inherent lying discriminate munitions, chemical weapons and mercenaries, but there is also mountain evidence since the sea fires acts of torture, mutilation, executions and enforced disappearances against Armenian prisoners of war still in captivity, as well as civilians in Nagorno-Karabakh. Drunk on victory, Azerbaijan's anti-Armenian rhetoric has online intensified, with visible sites now set on Armenia proper, through an irredentist philosophy that Armenian territory constitutes historic Azerbaijani land, if there was any doubt before the ceasefire statement that Azerbaijan's aggression presented genocidal elements, its actions and statements since then constitute proof of the intent to destroy, in whole or in part, 
the Armenian ethnic group from as much neighbouring land as possible. The Senate's wholesale rejection on the motion was a lost opportunity, as has been the House of Commons' violence on the matter. Where Canada falls on the side of history, however, remains to be seen. Even as Canada is not prepared to recognise Artfak at this moment, there is certainly no need to throw out the proverbial baby with the bathwater by refusing, in any way, to heal a wound that it helped reopen. The issue is one for all Canadians. It runs contrary to Byrne's reduction of the matter to diaspora politics, with what he frames as inherent danger in one ethnic community working against. Another in seeing new home, which I source country, Canada. Emphasis hours. Statements pitting Canadian citizens as us against them, ignoring the government's own grave mistakes, could not be more antithetical to core Canadian values. It bears reminding that in 2000 fix, the government of Canada recognised Armenian genocide after ground, breaking resolutions by the Senate and the House of Commons in 2002 and two. <clears throat> Someone could just say, <laughs> like they do on China. <clears throat> Oh, there's people falling out, so he's a drunk people, wow, the police or something. Anyway, they don't do anything because it's going to be civil war, war, war free, or oh, hardcore questions, whatever, fucking, you know what I mean? The person said, oh, you're nice, you can look after me, boo, 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 I'll fight, I'll do, I'll do anything, crazy. They're saying, you're good, you're good, you're good, but... Everyone's killing each other. What the fuck's wrong with it? It has to be destroyed. It has to be destroyed. Why? Why? Who is the boss? Who owns who? What? Where? 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 Everything could go together. Everything could go together. Everything could go together. Family, sexy, university, university. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 2004. Respectively, de ask the question, ask the question, very happy. Despite objection voiced by Turkey and Canada's own department. Very happy, playful, nice, booby, 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 and all the boobs, and all the, I'll do it, I'll recall you, fuck you, very nice, I love you. Department of Foreign Affairs. Canada's principled stance in 2006. What? Canada Department of Foreign Affairs? We God. 2006 only increased its God, 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 God. Its international stature. With all due respect to Berm, it is not a lesson in real politics that Parliament should hear on the issue of Artvac, but one in courage and integrity. Choto, Stepanakert, the capital city of the self proclaimed Republic of Artvac Nagorno Karabakh, in 2017. Shutterstock.com by Carsten Jung. Do you have something to say about the article you just read? Be part of the policy options discussion and send in your own submission or a letter to the editor.
Polish Land Forces Wikipedia. Szelan Forces Polish Web Skoladal, a Szelan Forces of the Polish Armed Forces. They currently contain some 62,000 for active personnel and form many. Components of the European Union and NATO deployments around the world. Poland's recorded military history stretches back our millennium minus since the 10th century. Fearless of Polish Wharf and History of the Polish Army. Poland's modern army was formed after Poland regained independence following World War Yin 1918. History diet 1918 to 1938 edit when Poland regained independence. War protest, statues fall as Europe purges Soviet monuments app news. War for Poland app in the Latvian capital of Riga, an obelisk that fought high above a park to commemorate the Soviet army's capture of that nation. McCarthy's race for speaker risks upending House on day one app news. Washington app in his quest to rise to House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's charging straight into history potentially becoming the first nominee in 100 years. Unable to win the job on a first round floor vote. The increasingly real prospect of a messy floor site over the speaker's gavel on day one of the new. Congress on January 3rd is worrying House Republicans who are bracing for the... 3 1 question saying 254 fuck you the police, fuck you the police, fuck you the police, fuck you the government. I love you, internet, internet connection, YouTube connection, share, like, whatever. Um, Intermix Hector, my YouTube channel, Intermix Hector, Australiano, Inglés, Chileno, Espanol. Spectacle. They have been meeting endlessly in private at the Capitol trying to resolve. Also, we have nice, we have music, whatever I say, some of you bad manners or something. Resolve the standoff. Taking hold of a parallel. Be open, try, be remember, be, be, let others do listen and reply, please. Question. Perilously slim to 120 to seek republic. Share a like, share a like. Intermix Hector YouTube channel. Subscribe. Republican majority in the 435-member House and facing handful of defectors McCarthy's working furiously to reach the 218-vote threshold typically needed to become Speaker. The fear is that if we stumble out of the gate, said Rep. Jim Banks, are in a McCarthy ally, then the vote... In God, getting word, call, call, word, word, God, God, question it, question it, God, 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 world record... Voters who sent the Republicans to Washington will revolt over over that and they will feel let down. Not down world, God, down God. since the disputed election of 1923. Out thinking, out thinking, mindfulness, mindfulness, anything, question, debate, Lupa, Luca, love you, Merry Christmas, ha, ah, crazy, I'm saying hello, I love you. 1,923 has a candidate. Good sport, mate. Put it on, Hector. Fuck him up. Candidate for House Speaker faced the public. Love you, love you, love you. Public scrutiny of convening a new session of Congress only to have it. Defending to political chaos with one vote after another until a new Speaker is chosen. At that time, it eventually took a grueling nine ballots to secure the gavel. McCarthy, a Republican from Bakersfield, California. Who was uh, it squished, the female came and squished, and then the female came and squished, and the female came and squished. But pinch it is, we put it, we blew you up, and for you to pop, pop, go pop, pop, whatever, and I'll see you later, I can't, 
everywhere, fucking coffee and then Gloria jeans and coffee and Gloria jeans. Anyway, 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 anyhow, he fucking punch you in the head and took you out. Reply. First elected in 2000, Fixon, who remains allied with Donald Trump, has signaled he hey, come on, come blow to me, come, come, come on, blow to me. He blew me out. You can only afford this. You can only do this. You can bow, 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 and he blew me up, and he blew me up. Kelly Mano is willing to go as long as it takes in a floor vote to secure Sydney, Canberra, Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, Australia. The speaker's job. I love you, YouTube. I love you, YouTube. I love you, YouTube. I love you, YouTube. Very nice manners. He has wanted for years. The former president has endorsed McCarthy and is said to be making calls on McCarthy's behalf. Oh, McCarthy. Good, 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 good. McCarthy has given no indication would step a fight, as he did in 2015, when it was clear he did not have the support. But McCarthy also is acknowledging the holdouts won't budge. It's all in jeopardy, McCarthy said Friday in an interview with conservative Hugh Hewitt. The dilemma reflects not just McCarthy's uncertain stature among his peers, but also the shifting political norms in Congress as party leaders who once wielded. Immense power the names of Cannon, Rayburn and now Pelothi adorn house meeting rooms and office buildings are seeing it flip away in the 21st century. Rank and file lawmakers have become political stars on their own terms, able to shape their brands on social media and raise their own money for campaigns. House members are less reliant than they once were on the party leaders to dole out savers in exchange for support. The test for McCarthy, if he is able to thaw up the votes on January 3rd or in the days that follow, will be whether he emerges a weakened speaker, forced to pay an enormous price for the gavel, or whether the potentially brutal power struggle emboldens his new leadership. Does he want to go down as the first speaker candidate in 100 years to go to the floor and have to essentially, you know, give up? Said Jeffrey A. Jenkins, a professor at the University of Southern California and co-author of Fighting for the Speakership. But if he pulls this rabbit out of the hat, you know, maybe he actually has more of the right stuff. Republicans met in private this past week for another, lengthy session as McCarthy's detractors. Largely a handful of conservative stalwarts from the Freedom Caucus, demand changes to House rules that would diminish the power of the Speaker's office. The Freedom Caucus members and others want affordances that will be able to help draft legislation from the ground up and have opportunities to amend bills. During the floor debates, they want enforcement of the 72-hour rule that requires bills to be presented for review before voting. Outgoing Speaker Nancy Pelosi, D. Calise, and the pastor Republican speakers John Berner and Paul Ryan faced similar challenges. But they were able to rely on the currency of their position to hand out savers, negotiate deals and otherwise win over opponents to keep them in line for a time. Berner and Ryan ended up retiring early. But the central demand by McCarthy's opponents could go too far. They want to reinstate a House rule that allows any single lawmaker to file a motion to vacate the chair, eventually allowing a floor vote to boot the Speaker from office. The early leaders of the Freedom Caucus, under Mark Meadows, the former North Carolina congressman, turned Trump's chief of staff, wielded the little-use procedure as a threat over Berner and later, over Ryan. It wasn't until Pelosi seized the gavel the second time in 2019 that House Democrats voted to do away with the rule and require a majority vote of the caucus. To mount a floor vote challenge to the Speaker, Rep. Chip Roy, a Texas, said the 200-year-old rule was good enough for Thomas Jefferson, so it's one he would like to see in place. We're still a long way from fixing this institution the way it needs to be fixed, Roy told reporters Thursday at the Capitol. What's unclear for McCarthy is even if he gives in to the various demands being made by the Conservatives, whether that will be enough for them drop their opposition to his leadership. Several House Republicans said they do not believe McCarthy will ever be able to overcome the detractors. I don't believe he's going to get to 218 votes, said Rep. Bob Good, are they among the holdouts? And so I look forward to when that recognition sets in and, for the good of the country, for the good of the Congress, he steps aside, and we can consider other candidates. The opposition to McCarthy has promoted a counteroffensive from other groups of House Republicans who are becoming more 
vocal in their support of the GOP leader and more concerned about the fallout if the start of the new Congress defends into an internal party site. Rep David Joyce, a Ohio, who leads the Republican governance group, was wearing an OK button on his lapel meaning only Kevin, he explained. Some have suggested that the opponents to McCarthy could simply vote present, lowering the threshold for reaching a majority, the tactic Pelosi and Berner. Both used to win with fewer than 218 votes. While some have suggested threatening the detractors with removal from their committee assignments or other. Retribution, Rep Dusty Johnson RSD, a leader of another conservative governance caucus, said anybody who thinks that the holdouts are going to be bullied into compliance doesn't understand how this town works. Retiring Rep Fred Upton, unlike who recalled that then-Republican Speaker Newt Gingrich of Georgia dropped out of the race in 1998 when he didn't have the votes, cautioned McCarthy against backing down. My advice to Kevin is, you've got to go to the finish line, Upton said. You can't solve the cards. You've got to make these folks vote and vote. Anti-LGBTQ hate fries online, spurs fears of more violence app news. In the days after a gunman killed five people at a gay nightclub in Colorado last month, much of social media lit up with the now familiar expressions of Greece. Mourning and disbelief. But on some online message boards and platforms, the tone was celebratory. I love waking up to great news, wrote one user on Gab, a platform popular with far-right groups. Other users on the site called for more violence. The hate isn't limited to fringe fights. On Twitter, YouTube and Facebook, researchers and LGBTQ advocates have tracked an increasing hate speech and threats of violence directed at LGBTQ people, groups and events, with much of it directed at transgender people. The content comes after conservative lawmaker since a viral station for a anti LGBTQ measures and amid a wave of threats targeting LGBTQ groups as well as hospitals, healthcare workers, libraries and private businesses that support them. I don't think people understand the state of danger that we're living in right now, said Jay Brown, senior vice president of the Human Rights Campaign and a transgender man. A lot of that is happening online. And online threats are turning into threats off real violence offline. Hospitals in Boston, Pittsburgh, Phoenix, Washington. DC and other cities have received them threats and other harassing messages of Asta, misleading claims spread online about transgender care programs. In Tennessee, masked members of a white supremacist group showed up recently at a holiday charity event at a bookstore because the evening's entertainment included a drag performer. An upcoming holiday party at an adults-only gay nightclub scheduled for Friday was also the subject of threats. The party's scene. Scene ugly Christmas sweaters, and they're like still it. coming after us. It's just straight up bigotry and hatred at this point, said Jessica.
Afghanistan Radio Free Europe Flash Radio Liberty. With music band, a Sam musician now sells snacks to feed his family. Embed the code has been copied to your clipboard. Wits PX no media force currently available. Before Taliban rule in Afghanistan, Fadar Muhammad made his living and provided for his family by playing the harmonica. Opium production in Afghanistan Wikipedia. Learn more this article needs to be updated. Please help update this article to reflect recent events or newly available information. November 2018. Asanistan Athlon had a history of opium poppy cultivation and harvest. As of 2021, Asanistan's harvest produces more than 90% of illicitherine lobbly. And more than 95% of the European supply one to more land is used for opium. MSF Medicin Sans Frontiers Medical Humanitarian Organization. Villagers carrying on food items on their heads as they walk through fields to return to their homes near Fanga, Sindh Province. Pakistan, 16 November 2022. Copyright fine Ashim Hasiz for MSF's project update 16 December 2020 to people in Pakistan remain extremely vulnerable since floods have devastated the country and winter. Approaches, many are unable to return home while malaria and malnutrition are on the rise. Read more. An international, independent medical humanitarian organization we provide medical assistance to people affected by conflict, epidemics, disasters, or exclusion from healthcare. Our teams are made up of tens of thousands of health professionals. Logistic and administrative staff, most of them hired locally. Our actions are guided by medical ethics and set principles of impartiality independence and neutrality. Featured. Lithuania people repeatedly repelled at Lithuania and Latvia borders faith increased suffering 15 December 2022. People remain stranded as winter approaches flood hit Pakistan MHS. People remain stranded as winter approaches flood hit Pakistan Pakistan people remain stranded as winter approaches flood hit Pakistan. Villagers carrying on food items on their heads as they walk through fields to return to their homes near Fanga, Sindh province. Pakistan, 16 November 2022. Copyright fine Ashim Hasiz for MSS related natural disasters malaria malnutrition Pakistan. It has been more than three months since devastating floods caused vast damage across Pakistan and displaced millions. But only in recent weeks have water started to recede and people been able to return home. Those returning to their villages are finding destroyed houses and land still surrounded by stagnant water. Meanwhile, those remaining in camps and informal shelters are faced with the threat of winter. Even after three months, the situation is an emergency, says Said Isra Ali Shah. Medicine Sans Frontiers MSFS, Emergency Project Coordinator in Eastern Balakistan. There are areas in the districts of Jalmagsi, Yusta Muhammad and Sobapur, Jafarabad and also Nasirabad that are still inundated. In the eastern districts of Balakistan and 11 districts of Fin, people are living next to their slutted villages. Families and children remain exposed to water and vector-borne diseases. We are seeing people in these areas still living in tents with limited access to Healthcare. With the onset of winter, 
people are becoming more vulnerable and have nowhere to go, says Edward Taylor, MSF Emergency Coordinator in Eastern Balakistan and North Finn. In the areas where we are working, water has yet to recede and people's needs remain high. We are still in an emergency phase, an increase in malaria. In eastern Balakistan and North Thind in the months of October and November, over 50% of people tested for malaria were positive. The number of cases is worryingly high given the winter period, as we would expect them to drop as the weather cools. In October and November, our teams tested 38,301 patients for malaria, of which 20,361 were positive. With the water not receding in some parts of the affected areas, we are concerned that the malaria season will be longer resulting in increased demand for testing and treatment. Our teams in Joey Town in Dadu District, South Thin, are also seeing a sharp increase in malaria cases and we have increased the number of malaria health workers in our mobile clinics. Malnutrition and a lack of access to clean drinking water, another major health concern is malnutrition. As many people have lost their livelihoods, farms and animals, there are fewer resources, to make matters worse, in some areas the land will not be ready for the next planting season. From September to November in eastern Balakistan and North Thind, our mobile team screened 21,777 children under five for malnutrition, says Juniper. Gordon, MSF Emergency Medical Coordinator. Of those screened, 5,578 had severe acute malnutrition and 6,812 had moderate acute malnutrition. 21,777. 21,777 children under five screened for malnutrition. 5578 to 5578 children under five had severe acute malnutrition. 6,812. 6,812 children under five had moderate acute malnutrition. The floods have also caused major damage to infrastructure, for clean drinking water in several villages, forcing people to search water from far away. The water forces are either con Wala, you will of my malacola. Oh, push all the way up, because we that way, I know, but I keep, 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 website and noi they don't like you in Australia or something you know what I mean they're saying one thing to another you know what I mean very naughty Hector very naughty mate you know what I mean Behammer says extradition sites go flow as Bankman fried digs in Bloomberg 
Crypto B. Hammers says extradition sites go flow as bank. Yeah, I mean, it's like question to what it is. You know, Bahamas says extradition fire goes slow as bank. Bank men the price deep scene. You know what I mean? Question is, debate God, God, Bible, shit, Bible, everything God. <laughs> I'm keeping what I can and what I got to do, okay? If you want to smooch me, say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I see another side, you no know, problem, whatever, like, <laughs> you like fun, playful, good ninja, ninja, help me, love you. Bankman fried digs in Bankman fried to resist being sent to face as criminal charges. The be good love. Charges. Fred Mitchell's. In the love, hope, in mindfulness, beautiful person, the word, the word, God. Says Island Nation cooperating with us on SD 17th December 2020 to at 12.25 p.m. 8. As disgraced FDX co-founder, Sam Bankman Fried prepares to fight being sent to the US to face criminal charges. The Bahamas' top diplomat is warning that extradition battles can be long and tedious. Fred Mitchell, the Island Nation's Minister of Foreign Affairs, said an attempt to block removal from the Bahamas could drag on for months or even years. He declined to speak specifically about Bankman Fried, who was arrested on Monday at the request of American authorities. Copy link. China covered news, virus outbreak in Beijing shows other cities, what comes next Bloomberg. Beijing's rapidly spreading covered outbreak has turned the Chinese... I hear that um, China, I love China, beautiful, fucking China, win, fuck up, good on you China, I love you China. Capital of 22 million people into a virtual ghost town of stores. Uh, they were protesting and they couldn't get out or something. Um... The chemicals, the people, the doctors all went protesting, they got bashed by their own people and many things that are not criminal or whatever is getting, um, okay. Now, someone said that, um, person was with the other person, seeking person, you know, creating, breaking the rules, my how to kill the virus and they're going to do it and they know how, that they know they, they, um, Recipe, right? God, 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 God. And then fuck you. Close and restaurants empty. Underscoring the cost of presidents, jimping suck. Because one die and the other one not die. I hear um, 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 controversial people protesting called uh, scientists, 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 scientists. You find recipe, kill, 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 kill with other scientists from other countries, come together, boom, boom, just inviting to who, 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 while officials have abandoned efforts to track case numbers, anecdotal evidence suggests entire families and offices in Beijing have become infected in the span of just days, a potential harbinger of worse things to come in other parts of China with less developed healthcare systems. Bloomberg. Opinion Wendy Polak Chat GPT holds promise and peril Bloomberg opinion columnists fair, their views on all that's compelling and alarming about the new 
text generation software. Brooks sampled the new top troll spoils Trump's comeback. Elon Musk is getting everyone's attention now, and he learned how to do it by watching the former president. Safe lamb. Ron DeFanta's vaccine complaint exploits public health gas doctors and government officials have been so focused on getting shots in arms that they've left. An opening for self-serving politicians. Martin Ivan's Harry and Meghan aren't doing themselves any favours. The Duke and Duchess of Fuffolk's may have... The Verge. But how many pebbles do you have in a jar? Devin Palmer is hands down one of the sunniest people on TikTok and his latest skit speaks to my soul about. Quantified health. Enjoy your step counters, I'll be counting pebbles. Seventy stupid puns to make you laugh pun. Seventy stupid puns to make you laugh last updated, September 25, 2020 to stupid puns are a type of pun, which rely on a Philly situation or a dumb use of words. To create a pun which makes you laugh. Often a really stupid pun can be a solution for cheering somebody up. They will not expect the Philly side of the pun and it'll make them laugh, and often roll their eyes at the brainless humor. When I found out that my microwave wasn't waterproof, I was shocked. I don't know the whole alphabet. I don't know you. I hate carrying my luggage around the airport. I rest my case. Did you hear about the kidnapping? He woke up. Tennis players can never find happiness. Love means nothing to them. I tried wearing some tight jeans, but I couldn't pull it off. Americans prefer houses with basements. In fact, they're bestsellers. Did you hear about the fire at the circus? It was intense. You didn't hear about the three big holes in the ground? Well, well, well. The butcher walked backwards into the meat grinder and got a little behind in his work. What did the cross-eyed teacher say? I can't control my pupils. Where do boats go when they get thick? The dock. I for a find that said falling rocks, so I tried and it doesn't. What city has the largest rodent population? Amsterdam. What kind of shoes do ninjas wear? Sneakers. If it wasn't for physics, I'd be unstoppable. Stop with the blind jokes. I don't see the point. Why did the picture go to jail? Because it was framed. Did you hear about the deaf guy who got a speeding ticket? Neither did he. A blind man walked into a bar. Then a table, then a chair. I used to be a tap dancer until I sell in the think. I wondered why the baseball was getting bigger, then it hit me. I was trying to make a pun about escaping quickshan, but I'm stuck. <clears throat> what do you call a fish with... Okay, dickhead, I love this because it's jail, jail, jail. Fucking punch, fucking punch, you know, mate. Go to jail because you're a criminal or something. What did you go to jail for? What did you go to jail for? Were you... <coughs> fucking dickhead. Any question like that? What your life is like, or who you are like, are you scared, you can't cut your tongue now, pretend, fuck ya, yeah. I love it, I love this, I love this. With no eyes, I guess goof. what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese, broken pencils are pointless, 
I went to buy some camouflage trousers the other day, but I couldn't find any. I went into a shop and said can someone sell me a kettle? The bloke said, Ken Wood. I said where is he then? I think I want a job cleaning mirrors. It's just something I can see myself doing. I am so tried of auto, correct jokes. Make the little things count. Teach midgets math. I dig, you dig, we dig, you dig, she dig, they dig. Forty-five sunny Christmas jokes for all the family. Pun. Pun dot me jokes Christmas jokes 45 sunny Christmas jokes for all the family. Last updated, September 3rd, 2022. Christmas jokes are great for kids and bring more laughter to the festive season for the entire family. Our page contains the best crimbo jokes to keep you merry this Christmas. What happens to elves when they behave naughty? Fanta gives them the fact. What kind of music do elves listen to? Rap. What is a snowman's favorite breakfast? Ice Krispies. Why didn't the skeleton go to the Christmas party? He had nobody to go with. What says oh oh oh? Fanta walking backwards. What do you call a greedy else? Elfish. What do zombies eat with their Christmas dinner? Gravy. Who delivers presents to baby sharks at Christmas? Fanta Jaws. What did one snowman say to the other snowman? Showing for search results for hot pun. No search results found for hot showing search results for hot pun number. 237 I shot a man with a paintball gun just to watch him die. Pun number 166 a rubber band fling that was confiscated in algebra class for being a weapon of mass disruption. Pun number 150 she had a photographic memory but never developed it. Pun number 217 she had a photographic memory but never developed it. Showing one search results for female pun. No search results found for female showing search results for female pun number 29. Would you like to buy a male or a female dog? Bitch, please. List of the 100 sunniest puns as ranked by you pun. List of the 100 sunniest puns as ranked by you last updated October 16, 2020 to sunny puns are a great way to make somebody laugh. They are a type of sunny word. Ah, yo comprendo algo. Una persona, mira, una persona dice, oh, y me asusta.
me asusta, me dice que es más inteligente, esto, yo soy cochino, feo, feo, malo. Bo. Y después dice, wow, podemos hablar español. Oh, can you speak English with me? So yo hablo español e inglés. I can speak English and Spanish. Y otro se asusta. Para otro es diferente. Ah, yo vivo en diferentes um, estilos, no es diferente, pero um, como lo alemán y lo francés, ellos como tienen un acento y lo perdí, lo vemos como esto, esto, no sé, es bueno, es bueno hablar porque se puede escuchar que ellos entienden y cuando están estudiando, en, yo veo aquí en la Universidad de Australia, eh, no he hablado de cómo mi área es, nunca he hablado de eso, si hay edificio, hay una universidad, como yo no he hablado de eso, pero yo sí, yo puedo decir sí, tiene un aeropuerto, pero lo han cerrado, lo han abierto, cerrado, lo han abierto, cerrado, la universidad también es, es grande, chica, a veces la chica lo ves al poner más al lado y eso no se rompe porque es, es una, para que ellos vengan a dormir y vivir para hasta que hagan su certificado de su universidad y toda la ayuda de los otros, los chinos, los vietnamitos, los filipinos, los otros de New Zealand, y todos esos están ahí y hay banderas diferentes, cuestión que ayuda, no sé qué será, no me digan a mí, son científicos, y allá hay otra parte lejos, es como un sign center que tienen ahí, hay diferentes, estoy estudiando otras cosas de científico, a, caminando de policía, de naturaleza, de, de todas las cuestiones que pueden pasar para matar el cáncer, malaria, el AIDS, les era de maricones, no sé, po, perdóname, mi español, eso es, uh, upala, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. But you understand, you will talk to me, you will say, very nice, we can talk like this. But anyway, eh, I don't need to talk to you anymore, you can ask, ask. Wordplay, which relies on words that have multiple meanings. This list contains a variety of clever. No, no, I didn't do anything wrong, I hopefully. Hopefully it was masking, masking, question it up. Fort and corny puns which have been selected to make you oh, laugh. Ah, si tu hablas, enséñame, tu hablas, enséñame, tu hablas, costumbre, tradición, um, cuando sube a uh, la muralla en mi sentimiento de mi cabeza, es como entender el, la Z, um, Hola, güey. ¿Cómo está, amigo? ¿Qué pasa? Roto, uh, loco, po, chile, uh, campeón, flaete, uh, cuitano, patrón en la punta. No está que te rompo porque estoy en el punto. Bla, 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 bla. Caballo, negro, el gallo, el perro, el tonto. Love. Pun.me has been providing puns on the internet since 2015, so we shall know which puns are the sunniest. Updated weekly by your votes. This list contains 100 sunny puns. Ah, tiene que saber español, con, uh, cómo hablar, cómo hablar, es, en comprender, escucharlo y entenderlo de Barcelona. Muy bonito, te amo. And is ranked by your votes. You can click the sums up and sums down buttons to vote on puns that you find sunny. This will help us improve the list to contain only the best puns. Every week we'll add a selection of funny puns and we will also update the order of the page. To reflect your votes. Top 10 sunniest puns. The puns below are the sunniest 10 puns, as voted by you as the best puns that we have. I don't trust stairs. They are always up to something. Did you hear about the man who lost his left side? He's all right now. I'm going to stand outside. Is anyone asks where Ian tell them that I'm outstanding? Today a man knocked on my door and asked for a small donation towards the local swimming pool, so I gave him a glass of water. I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. Cartoonist found dead in home. Details are sketchy. He didn't tell his mother that he ate some glue. His lips were filled. Two peanuts walk into a bar and one was assaulted. It was an emotional wedding. Even the cake was in tears. The subtle was a groundbreaking invention. 
Newly added puns. Each week we will add new pun in this section, which have been submitted to us, or we have found them ourselves to share. Vote on the newly added puns if you think they deserve to be on our list of the sunniest puns. If a pun gets enough votes, we'll add them to the page. I'm glad I know sign language. It's pretty handy. As I suspected, somebody has been added foil to my garden. The plot thickens. Puns to be removed. The puns below have been continuously downvoted over the past weeks. If you think they are still sunny and should be kept on our list, give them a sum up. If you think they should be removed, vote them down. If the below jokes are still disliked by your votes, we'll remove them from this list. I removed the fell from my racing snail to make it go faster, but it just made it more floody. Oh, how funny, Hector, funny. Amigo, you playful, but you know, but good. <laughs> you stupid chick. Anyway, no one will do this. <laughs> Amigo, luego, luego. It's because estamos en, en la festive season. Um, de la celebración de los santos como los dioses de la Biblia o el amor de la Biblia con el año nuevo como estamos aquí en diferentes países de todo el mundo um, internacional um, ¿cómo se llama? estoy um, no sé, muchas cosas me pueden preguntar y I can talk to you you can talk to me Sluggish. I took up sensing. The police insist I have to give it back. More funny puns. The remainder of the sunny puns on this page didn't make the top 10 but are all still great and worth reading for a good chuckle. Why should you never cite a dinosaur? You'll get your escape. Americans prefer houses with basements. In fact, they're bestsellers. I wrote a song for a tortilla. Well, it's more of a rap. A bicycle can't stand on its own because it is too tired. I asked a Frenchman if he played video games. He said we. Thanks for explaining the word many to me. It means a lot. I tried to make a belt out of watches. It was a waste of time. If you've been thinking about thinging karaoke with a friend, just do it. He drove his expensive car into a tree and found out how the Mercedes Benz. Did you hear about the guy who got hit in the head with a can of soda? He was lucky it was a soft drink. I went to buy some camouflage trousers the other day, but I couldn't find any. It was a terrible summer for Humpty Dumpty, but he had a great fall. I tripped over my girlfriend's bra, seemed to be a booby trap. After the birth of your first child, your role in life will become apparent. Why do they put sensors around some entries? Because people are dying to get in. How did I escape Iraq? Iran. Weight loss pills stolen this morning police say suspects are still at large. What do you call a pig who does karate? Pork chop. For a fungi to grow you must give it as mushroom as possible. A criminal's best asset is his liability. My friends say I'm getting satter. In my defense I've had a lot on my plate recently. I used to be a shoe salesman until they gave me the boot. Two antennas met on a roof, sell in love and got married. The ceremony wasn't much, but the reception was excellent. I hate carrying my luggage around the airport. I rest my case. Life as a yo-yo has its ups and downs. It's not that the man didn't know how to juggle. He just didn't have the balls to do it. If a judge loves the sound of his own voice, expect a long sentence. Yesterday a clown held the door open for me. It was such a nice gesture. I was addicted to show. I'm clean now. How do construction workers party? They raised the roof. A dog gave birth to puppies near the road and was ticketed for littering. I used to be a baby but I grew out of it. Why are teddy bears never hungry? They are always stuffed. Please don't make my funeral too early. I'm not really a morning person. Pun of the day is very important. As seven days without a pun makes one week. A man died today when a pile of books fell on him. He only had his self to blame. Did you hear about the kidnapping? He woke up. My grandma is on speed dial and now I call her Instagram. I used to date a girl with a lazy eye. It turns out she was seeing someone else the whole time. My roommates are concerned that I'm using their kitchen utensils, but that's a whisk I'm willing to take. I'm going to buy some Velcro for my shoes instead of laces. Why not? I've got a chicken proof front lawn. 
It's impeccable. I don't think I need a spine. It's holding me back. I put up a high voltage electric sense around my property over the weekend. My neighbor is dead against it. The best way to communicate with fish is to drop them a line. Shout out to people who don't know what the opposite of in is. I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. He wears glasses during mass because it improves division. A boiled egg in the morning is hard to beat. An expensive laxative will give you a run for your money. The painter was hospitalized due to too many strokes. Man, choking on sugar seems like the sweetest way to die. What's a cow eating grass? A lawnmower. My wife tried to apply at the post office, but they wouldn't let her. They said only males work here. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. Stop with the blind jokes. I don't see the point. This girl said she recognized me from the vegetarian club, but I've never met her before. I should have been sad when my slashlight batteries died, but I was delighted. Be kind to your dentist because he has fillings too. My grandma told me her joints are getting weaker, so I told her to roll them tighter. Cows lie down in the rain to keep each other dry. What do you call a dinosaur with an extensive vocabulary? A sephorus. I used to be a banker, but I lost interest. You shouldn't play poker in the jungle because there are too many cheaters. I used Okay. <clears throat> okay. What do you call um, a, man, uh, a man that's lost his car in Mexico? What do you call a man that lost his car in Mexico? Um, this probably gone for 10 hours, ain't it? But anyway, the answer is Carlos. Carlos. I don't know how to be playful. How do you be playful now? Um, I'm trying to be playful. I don't know how. Um, um, what do you call, what do you, um, what do you call a man with a rubber toe? What do you call a man with a rubber toe? Okay. <clears throat> Roberto, Roberto. You call him Roberto. Okay. What was the other one? Why did the, why did the Mexican throw his wife over the cliff? Why did the Mexican throw his wife over the cliff? Um... Tequila, 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 salud, arriba, adentro, para afuera, salud, que bueno, que bueno, mucho dinero, ah, el dinero, el dinero, el dinero, dinero, el hombre, el dinero, esto se va bo, 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 a violado, violado, amigo, esto se va violado, amigo, 1916, ¿sabes cómo es? Eh, amigo, ¿qué está? Wow, 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 ¿qué pasa? ¿Cómo es de vos? ¿Qué está? Oye, wow, 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 ¿qué está? Yo lo siento, mi cabeza y lo puesto en el seta, en el seta, por hacer agua que va para agua, ambam, calla, Ecuador, Ecuador, Paraguay, Uruguay. Tener el Espíritu Santo nuestro que está en el Espíritu nuestro pasta pesto para va 
no más, no más, no más. Natural, natural, natural. Mundo experto, ven acá, mundo pasa, que mundo te pate, mundo pate, te mundo, como te mundo, pate, te mundo, manila, guanila, panila, panala. Español, 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 español. Esclavo, esclavo, slave. Tiene que pelear, tiene que pelear, tiene que pelear, slave. Slave, ya no soy. Pum, pum, pum. Mira cómo viene. Mira cómo viene. Alemania, viva Montenegro, viva los comares, viva Naito, viva Naito, el parlamento, todo, 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 aquí, bueno, amor, 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 prostituta, pachicuta, pachicuta, pum, pum, ay, mata, tu, crack, cum, 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 pa, 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 tu, se corta la pata, encha la tata, tu, da, que da, tu, Tapa su mami amado. Debajo de la taza, pataza. De la escalera se cae. La taza va en pasa. Allá en Grecia rompen la taza, pan casa. Lo tiran por como los chinos. Pum, pum, Coca-Cola. Ve de Colombia, Chile. Ve tú a Australia. Se va a ir la batería, weón. Hijo de puta. Me empieza a mentir. Los fimeos, como dicen los culiados, te pegan pronto, weón. ¿eh? Sorry. Excuse me, please. Vino a secta. Yes, I'm trying to be nice. Now, I'm reading this bitch. You're doing this on purpose, are you? Why you do this? Shut up. Search The Verge. 100 results for YouTube lawsuit. A new lawsuit against YouTube shows how hard it is to get the company to respond to abuse. April 22, 2020. An impersonation scam involving cryptocurrency is now heading to the courts, but the average person has far fewer options. YouTube cites back against bias lawsuit from LGBTQ creators June 3, 2020. A lawsuit filed by a number of LGBTQ creators against Google took to court yesterday as Google sought to have the case dismissed. A new lawsuit may force YouTube to own up to the mental health consequences of content moderation. September 23, 2020. A former content moderator issuing Google owned the YouTube yesterday she allegedly developed depression and symptoms associated with. YouTube gets alleged copyright troll to agree to stop trolling YouTubers October 15, 2019. Alleged copyright troll Christopher Brady will no longer be able to. Issue false Demeca takedowns to other YouTubers, according to Allah Food. YouTube recruiter sues Google for allegedly refusing to hire white and Asian men. March 2, 28. All right. Um, look at the YouTubers and share and like or whatever you say, or subscribe, whatever you call it. Is it YouTube? What was that all about? Um... Uh, I, some guy called Joe or something, he was looking for uh, a button or something. And I found a button uh, that um, I can't remember which um, thing it was, but when I do the Joe guy from that's the tech news, um, he's fine. I don't know. Anyway, I was gonna give him the button. It's incredible. He said, uh, "How do you?" He said. It, And the guy, I said, no, this thing, and works like this, and I knew how it worked, but I couldn't put it together with the bottom. I couldn't put it together. There was something missing, but it was there, and, and he can go and see it. He can go and see it, but he'll say, it doesn't say anything you can have. The, and I said, go read the formula, it's right there, mister. I'm not lying to you now. The formula is there, and if you post, 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 write it down on a piece of paper or whatever you have to do, mister. Don't start lying to me. No, mate. The guy, um, 
on the video has some um had the code and everything yes um decay whatever he was doing and on the background two 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 he was doing it and he, two 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 and then two 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 and it will do it for you all right and on start he said that it was a disc disc or something he said and after that it become disc and then he, and um, it'll have an ai disc uh, will and uh, you can uh, people will pay to it and the thing will be on the shadow line you, you will love going live i don't care what anyone in, in the disc or whatever it was will help you <clears throat> bring um other things like balloons or whatever or if someone did a, a um it helped for the chat line where the others write down and it I jump on them and you said these two balloons went up and three balloons and five balloons. Como entiende, como entiende, no sé, po. Te van a pagar en un disc, una cuestión que te paga, que tú le puedes pagar cuando tú estás en, en el chat o algo. Yo lo he visto en, en, en YouTube, eso. They pay you when you're on the chat. And esto y por 50 horas, weón. 90, 50, me, 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 van a, me van a matar mi madre, pobrecito. No, no esto, um, uh, ¿cómo se llama de la matemática? No, mira, 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 yo te voy a hablar algo de la matemática, ¿ya? Yo no soy bueno de la matemática, pero si te entusiasma cuando yo hago esto, yo, yo lo voy a decir así nomás, no empieces con, conmigo nomás, no, no, po. Eh, mira, así, mira, yo te lo voy a hacer. Allá en Cuba, ah, en Chile, ya, yo, Chile, Cuba, ay, Cuba es como unos cuantos países. Chile es largo, otro es Perú, después va para allá como Ecuador o Colombia, Venezuela, no sé, vas por allá, vas por allá. Y tienes que hacer, no sé cómo, para, como lo hizo esto, Chico Barra y el caballo. Si mira, mi batería se va a caer, mira, perdóname, perdón, voy a dejar que se vaya al video ya. Uh, otro día, no sé, yo, yo, para esto, yo no, no puedo, eso es la matemática, es verdad, amigo, mira, mira, yo te voy a decir, yo vivo de, de, de Chile, ya, para ir para, para allá, todo. ¿Dónde estás tú? ¿Cómo Brasil y todas esas cuestiones? Es difícil, es difícil, muy difícil porque el compadre, el amigo roba el móvil, teléfono o, o tiene mucho negativismo a este grupo de los raperos, de, de los trap, de los nuevos que vienen ahora de cumbia, mambo. No comprendo, no, no, no está con nada. Aprendido. Estamos aptos a darle para ganar y ser un buen futbolista. Entrar dentro de un equipo bueno para pa hablar y entrar y jugar. Y de los santos más alto Ya no entiendo cómo es ir a ser chicano o a... Uh, Como ellos dicen, um, way o cómo se llama la cuestión, una palabra, es un yan, como dicen en Australia, es un yan, es un yan, como dicen en Australia, es un yan, como dicen, um, should be right, mate, o uh, in Ireland, they say, um, in Ireland, they say, um, uh, happy as Larry, is that right, amigo? In Ireland, they say happy as Larry, amigo. Oh, sí, sí, sí. In Australia, they say um, happy little Vegemite, amigo. Huh? Repeat, por favor. Ah, oh, sí, sí. In Ireland, is happy as Larry. In Australia, is um, happy, um, happy little Vegemite. 
Happy little Vegemite, happy as Larry. Happy as Larry, happy little Vegemite. Happy as Larry, happy little Vegemite. No, pero el de Happy as Larry es el, uh, el típico um, de Island. Happy as Larry es típico de Island. Ellos se, se la matan, po. se la matan los matadores. Aquí en Australia son Happy Little Vegemite. Que el Vegemite es como algo que te ponen en el pan, po. in the bread. Es, es, es casting a bit, pero un poquito con margarina en el, su tostada. Es, pone el, el Vegemite que es negro. Uh, gluten y es negro gluten y se pone fuerte fuerte bravo ya yeah, happy little Benjamin ya yeah, ya yeah. eso que como dicen en el, en el voleibol en el voleibol del en el mundo como dicen um, caribe carabe tu 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 ta caribe carabe tu, tu. eso que viven en la cabela po, viven arriba para matar para para bonito bonato <risa> estos estamos estamos Estamos. Anyway, pues no lo voy a molestar, no lo voy a molestar, no lo voy a molestar. Um, es para hablar, y, y, usted entiende, es, es, no es nada más conocer, saber, entender, eh, costumbres, tradiciones. Uh, la flota era el fuerte, es fuerte, porque el, el caballero de Argentina que vive lejos, el, 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 el um, gaucho, es gaucho, otro sistema del caballo, cómo manejar esto, el campo, ese rural y, y crecer las vegetables y tomar la chicha. 2018. A Samari Archib employee has shoot Google for allegedly pressuring recruiters to only look for female, black and Hispanic or Latinx. LGBTQ YouTubers are suing YouTube over alleged discrimination, August 14, 2019. A group of YouTuber creators, including Chase Ross and Lindsay Aimer, issuing YouTube for allegedly discriminating against their videos by former YouTube content moderator Foos the company after developing symptoms of PTFD. September 22, 2020. The proposed class action law foot against the Archibes being brought by the Joseph Favre law firm, which previously shoots a C-book for failing. YouTube shoes alleged copyright troll over extortion of multiple YouTubers August 19, 2019. Now YouTube issuing Brady. Using the DMAC has provisions against fraudulent takedown claims, seeking compensatory damages and an injunction. YouTube star shoot for copyright infringement over music in her videos July 21, 2014. YouTube sensation Michelle Fan, whose beauty and style videos have earned her 6,700,000 subscribers, is being sued for copyright infringement. Rumble's antitrust lawsuit against Google can proceed, says Judge August 2, 2022. A judge has denied Google's attempts to limit an antitrust case. From YouTube competitor Rumble, allowing the case to proceed toward early. Well, what's it over here? <laughs> Well, what's over here with it? Okay, okay, don't, okay, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, okay, I'm not gonna do this, but, okay, I have to, I have to, because it's so funny in my head, it's, it's doing car wheels now, okay, it's just said a minute ago that someone did not like it, and you don't care, and then they got copyright, and still not like it, one of these did not like it. And they got all the followers taken away and all these, all these things. They, they did not like it. So they got second strike and they said, no, oh, and like normal. And the third one, you know, well, well, you're on copyright. It's too many for you. So you know what I mean? Some people have lost their um, YouTube channel. How can YouTube be more creative, you know what I mean, into sharing, loving, caring YouTube community, contributing, you can pay them, give them money, give your money to YouTube, or your money to YouTube, be the best thing, well, if they say subscribe with money, do it, subscribe, so with money, money, YouTube, they need money, YouTube. I mean, the World Cup soccer, the World Cup soccer and everything.
what was it? And then you gotta get it to that. Then and how do you do it? And then this one. Then this one. New lawsuit says Google refused to hire white and Asian men The Verge. A former YouTube employee has sued Google for allegedly pressuring recruiters to only look for female, black and Hispanic or Latinx applicants. Anna Wilberg, who spent nine years working at Google, filed a discrimination suit in January and Wall Street Journal reported its existence today. Wilberg claims that Google implemented clear. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Many um, implemented... Um religion has moved to another country and converted them into their religion so how dare you want to start now a war with them and killing their own cities and towns and places whose war what war all oh, the five percent fuck yeah you're a dickhead mate you fucking did this to me you fucking uh, i never gained nothing out of it never again well pff, Yo tengo que tener algo para mí, pues conchis de madre, pues hijo de puta, con mierda. Como en YouTube, esta wea, pues no me dan nada, no lo sé, pues guapo. Anyway, fuck the female from prostitution and the gangs in Australia. It's called gangs of us. You can um, um, get it down it's, uh, illegally because they're not selling it anymore. They cut it now. It was about 10 years, 20 years ago, whatever. It's called gangs of us. Gangs of us, fucking bad gangs, bad fucking, you can get it 120. And irrefutable policies meant to exclude white and Asian men in an attempt to increase the company's overall diversity. He also claims that Google retaliated against him for opposing these policies, eventually siring him in November 2017. Wilberg's lawsuit targets Google and 25 unnamed Google employees who allegedly enforce discriminatory hiring rules. Quoting a number of emails and other documents, it claims that for several quarters, Google would only hire people from historically underrepresented groups for technical positions. In one hiring round, the team was allegedly instructed to cancel all software engineering interviews with non-diverse applicants below a certain experience level and to purge entirely any applications by non-diverse employees from the hiring pipeline. California labor law prohibits refusing to hire employees based on characteristics like race or gender. Google alleged... Okay, they were saying something about Google was saying whatever that it will look after your data and all this, but in the long run, it was selling it. They were selling it. They're not selling it. Learn the others, um, take it and put a price and all this and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Google was earning money, earning coins, earning the, without data, selling it. I wouldn't be selling it. We just suggesting it. it was there. Do you want it? And the AI was already fucking suggested that you can move it around without data, take out fucking identity and they gain points and gold and. Uh, Money and um, and everything, and um, prostitution, drugs, the whole lot, Illuminati, the whole fucking thing, mate. They won't fucking run. They fucking sell it, mate. The third party. Allegedly purged non-diverse employee applications. Wilberg alleges that several employees. And Google wasn't very nice. Google was selling it, and your own data, and your own fuck, everything where you at, fucking everything, fucking all going together, Bible, religion. You can manipulate I mean, whatever you want, whatever you fucking love into it. We love you too. Love you too. Protest. Employees complained to Google about the company's hiring policies, but were either ignored, transferred, or demoted. The lawsuit says that some employees from marginalized groups were uncomfortable with a program called Project Mirror, where they would be specifically assigned to interview candidates of their own race or gender. One person allegedly complained that managers were speaking about blacks like they were. Objects. Google told Wall Street Journal SAP we have a clear policy to hire candidates based on their merit, not their identity. At the same time, we unapologetically try to find a diverse pool of qualified candidates for open roles, as this helps us hire the best people. Improve our culture and build better products. However, the journal cites anonymous forces that corroborate some of Wilberg's claims. 
As of 2017, 69% of Google's workforce was male, compared to 70% in 2014, and 91% was white or Asian. A percentage that's barely changed over three years. But to former Google employee shoot the company yearly this year for allegedly discriminating against white men, in a far more nebulous and wide-ranging complaint. Conversely, Google is also facing lawsuits alleging that Eichen dare paid women fired an employee sure pro-diversity web posts and created a bro culture sat encouraged sexual harassment. List of Austrian Field Marshals Wikipedia. Fearless of Austrian Field Marshals denotes those who held the rank of Marshal and Austrian or Austro-Hungarian armies. Shell Marshal of the KUK Army Service Uniform 2. Shell Marshal of the KUK Army Dress Uniform. Come on. Pant beach kati mat pati be puti tu. This one wants to go alive, does it? Whoa, this one's mad, eh? This one wants to go mad, it wants to go on the YouTube or something. Austrian modernist Oscar Kokoskar exhibitions focus TRT World. Parody cinema, I want to dance with somebody and hip hop turns 50. How parody spoof Tinsel Town. Matilda Sandra Mugingers I Build My Skin with Rocks and Barbara Marles New Album. Anti-War Novel Gets a New Movie Adaptation. Tim Burton's Wednesday Sydney Modern Project and Jean Diamond. Feminist drama named Greatest Movie of All Time. Art Basel Miami Beach Preserving Ukrainian Cultural Heritage and 1923. Slumberland Cakes of The City of Arts and Sciences and Peter Sellers Cinema. Turkey's President Erdogan speaks to Vienna terror attack heroes TRT World. 
Parody Cinema I Wanna Dance With Somebody and Hip Hop Turns 50. How Parody Spoof Tinseltown. Matilda Sandra Mugent as I Build My Skin with Rocks and Barbara Marl's new album. Anti-war novel gets a new movie adaptation. Tim Burton's Wednesday Sydney Modern Project and Jean Diamond. Feminist drama named greatest movie of all time. Art Basel Miami Beach preserving Ukrainian cultural heritage and 1,912. Recep Tayyip nasılsın iyi misin? Allah'a çok şükür binlerce şükür ben çok iyiyiz. Ya seninle gurur duyuyoruz. Sağ olun Cumhurbaşkanım eksik olmayın eksik olmayın. Yani isimlerimizin aynı olması da güzel bir tevafuk. Avusturyalılara yardım etmeye devam edin. Onlar belki bizi anlamayabilirler ama biz onları anlarız. Yaradılarını yaradandan ötürü sevdik. Dinine bakmadık, mezhebine bakmadık, sadece insan olması bizim için yeter dedik. Ve ben biliyorum ki Avusturya'da zaman zaman çok ciddi sıkıntılar çektiniz. Hala da çok çok ciddi sıkıntılar çekiyorsunuz. Ve Müslüman olmaktan başka onlar nezdindesin hiçbir günahınız yok. Ama bizim için de Müslüman olmak en önemli iftihar vesilesi. Terörle, terörizmle bir defa en büyük mücadeleyi biz verdik. Vermeye devam ediyoruz. Bulunduğumuz her yerde ben iyiliğin, barışın, güzelliğin temsilcisi olacağınızdan eminim. Milletim, ailem, ve şahsım adına sana teşekkür ediyorum. Gözlerinden öpüyorum. Oh oh. Algo pasó, hombre. No, no, no. No puedes decir que bajó. Um, caballero, señoras y caballeros, señoras y caballeros, se está haciendo muy tarde ahora. Mira, uno, es, es, esto habló el caballero de, en el, Turkey, así que yo no lo pude colocar fuerte porque me van a dar un copyright, yo no quiero un copyright y esas cositas. Exquisito, el amigo, es muy bonito, no, me gusta mucho tener eso, muy malo por amigo, ok? You know, mira, mira, otra vez, otra vez lo hicieron, lo hicieron, lo pusieron en el, que son feos los culiados, ¿por qué lo vas a America's evolving plan to defeat. Yo sé que se lo puedo. Pienso que se lo coloco. Mira, se lo coloco así. Mira, voy a pelear para que la vean ustedes, weón. ¿Quién quiere que haría? Anda, que haría primero. Pone así. Beat Daesh. President Donald Trump talks strategy with a broad global coalition as special forces ramp up operations in Raqqa. But at what cost? Also on today's program, Australia's great debate. America's evolving plan to defeat Daesh. President Donald Trump talks strategy with a broad global coalition as special forces ramp up operations in Raqqa. But at what cost? Also on today's program, Australia's great debate. The government tries to slim down racial discrimination laws. Is it a win for free speech or does it give racists the green light? And one year after the attacks in Brussels, as the city pauses to mourn, we ask what's changed in Belgium? I'm Imran Garta and this... <laughs> 
Y se las cagué, weón. ¿Sabe por qué? Otra vez vino la weá en mi, en, mi, en mi cuerpo. Vino en mi cuerpo otra vez esta weá. Como un payaso, weón. ¿Cómo lo rompe lo este? Los Satan son fuertes a veces. Yo amo a todo, feo, cochino, estúpido, bajo del puente, toda la weá. Pero a veces estúpido, ¿ya? Estúpido, ¿ya? No empiece conmigo, yo no quiero estar contigo. Y después. This is the Newsmakers. U.S. President Donald Trump has repeatedly promised that defeating Daesh will be his highest priority. Now's his chance to... A ver, hijo de puta, vas de suta, para tu ta, para la puta. Se llama T, T, R, T, T, A, T, World, man. Ahí lo podría ver, yo no estoy para... para... De discriminar con ninguno. Ay, amigo, ¿qué estás haciendo? To defeat Daesh or ISIS is becoming clear. Mosul will happen. That's where a weight of effort is right now. And then Raqqa or the rest of Syria, ISIS's base in Syria will follow that. A coalition of more than 60 countries are meeting in Washington this week to hammer out the plan ahead. ISIS presents an ongoing challenge. Mira. As we have seen, it is not more. Es bueno, bueno. Ellos te muestran esto de, de la mentira y la verdad. <coughs> es bueno. Y vayan a verlo. Vayan a verlo. Es bueno. Y está en el YouTube. Mira, esto es bueno. El, los malos disparan la metralleta arriba del al Dutch. Con el Ute. Del Ute. Del, ¿Cómo se llama? El, el auto que lo llevan en la forestía. En el Ute. <coughs> Pero quiero llorar, quiero llorar. ¿Sabes que quiero llorar cuando mi país, Chile, protesta duro? Quiero llorar. Y Australia también llorar. Los indígenas llorar. Yo tengo muchos feelings, different feelings. We are when we stand together. And they're in it for the long haul. This is not a threat that's going to go away overnight. So it's going to, we all recognize this is going to be a long fought battle. But can the U.S. and its partners escalate their military offensive? without repeating mistakes of the past. The U.S. has steadily moved away from mass ground wars that framed America as an invading power in Iraq and Afghanistan. Under former President Barack Obama, the controversial use of drones, special operation forces, and training programs for local militia reduced America's military footprint overseas. It's the U.S.'s policy of using surrogate armies known as by, with, and through. So far, the Trump administration has carried on that policy as the region prepares its latest push against Daesh. In Iraq, U.S. special... Oh, ¿qué pasó? What's happened? ¿Qué pasó, amigo? ¿Qué le hiciste? What did you do, amigo? Déjalo, bo. Stop it. Esto va a ir por el último año ya. ¿Te vas a ir por ¿Por qué? ¿Te asustaste, weón? Hello there. In the hustle and bustle of central Istanbul, the injustices caused by social, political, gender inequality or ecological reasons are the subject matter of an equally ambitiously titled exhibition. Life, Death, Love and Justice. I asked the curator about the story behind the title, and this is what she had to say. It is such a striking name for an exhibition. Tell us the story behind it. Life, Death, Love and Justice takes its title from a sound installation by Istanbul-based artist Hale Tenger, and it's, it's, a very, it's a very important work. It's, um, it takes its inspiration from diff three different resources, a quotation from Hrant Dink, a story told by him, and a book called How Forests Think, and uh, a book about uh, ancient Chinese uh, philosophy. 
So it's very, it brings different elements together and it's a, it's a sound installation and the exhibition starts with the sound installation and that's actually for the first time. When visitors enter Yapukede uh, Culture and Arts, the exhibition starts from the stairs and you hear the sound piece. So these are really huge concepts, of course, uh, love, death, life, etc. Uh, I would imagine that a curator could be intimidated by covering all of these concepts. So tell us your curatorial concept behind this exhibition and how it um, relates to the title of the show. So first of all, uh, we did not try to cover all these topics. That was not our intention. It comes automatically. It comes without planning. So I do really believe in uh, um, curating that is not based on selecting but based on intuitions, encounters, based on conversations. And these are very important um, practices, practices for me. So that is not like selecting. And life, uh, life, death, love and justice, they are big concepts, but we do face them in everyday life a lot, especially after, after pandemic. We, uh, you know, I was thinking about it, what's, what did this pandemic do to us? And it really highlighted the injustices, economically and social injustices. For example, uh, people in most of the countries didn't have access to vaccine, and what does it mean? So what do we do it, uh, as people in such crisis moment? What is, uh, what do we understand from sharing globally? And uh, these big questions raised up when we were thinking about this concept. And do you believe in the power of contemporary art or art in general to have a say about any of these injustices that you mentioned? Yes, absolutely. And I'd like to give an example. A work by forensic architecture in the exhibition called Triple Chaser. And it's the name of a tear gas. And this tear gas is used in a lot of countries. And the interesting thing is that this tear gas is produced by Safari Group Land. And the, one of the people running this um, weapon industry used to be in the board of Whitney Museum. And Interestingly, forensic architecture showed and made this work uh, based, based on an invitation by Whitney, B Whitney Biennial. And after this, uh, after this piece, the, um, board, uh, the board member had to step down. So we do have some direct dialogues with real life reality and contemporary art when we know how to use and contextualize it right. For example, this work behind us, it's quite different than uh, the forensic architecture piece that you mentioned. How can this influence a visitor so that things might change politically? What is your vision on that? I think, first of all, it's very important not to have a lot of expectations from the visitors. I think I do, I don't see exhibitions as schools or educational platforms, but that, in my opinion, exhibitions create state of mind. And I would really like to leave a feeling a feeling and that's very important and that a feeling might change something and thanks for asking this because this piece by Ishvan Ziros is a very central piece for the exhibition and we use it also in the poster posters and our visual material and I do believe it's a very strong photograph this uh, this photograph was taken in a very important moment uh, at the end of August 2015 when uh, when the uh, refugee crisis was really at its peak, and we see that a couple. Oh, it cuts hair. Oh, it's corta, amigo, corta. Aide, aide. Dobra, ya kumbuta. Dobro, amigo. Kakosi, dobro. Aide, aide. Que paso, que paso.
Pfeiffer's structure is typical of organised crime, Andrew Jennings Mint. Despite a few decades of racket busting, Scottish investigative reporter and author Andrew Jennings is still at it. He's reported on a wide range of topics, but is most acclaimed for his investigations into the workings of the International Olympic Committee IOC and Federation Internationale de Football Association FIFA. Despite a few decades of racket busting, Scottish investigative reporter and author Andrew Jennings is still at it. He's reported on a wide range of topics, but is most acclaimed for his investigations into the workings of the International Olympic Committee IOC and Federation Internationale de Football Association FIFA. Ahead of the World Cup, his latest valvo against FIFA is the e-bookometer, Sepp Blatter's FIFA organised crime family. Published by Transparency Books, which carries a foreword by Brazilian congressman and 1,994 World Cup winner Omarayo, de Souza Faria. Ahead of the World Cup, his latest falvo against FIFA is the e-bookometer, Sepp Blatter's FIFA organised crime family, published by Transparency Books, which carries a foreword by Brazilian congressman and 1,994 World Cup winner Omarayo, de Souza Faria. Subscribe to continue reading. It comes at an opportune time, football-crazy Brazilians are protesting against the alleged corruption that has gone into their country, hosting the World Cup. And even Sice's long-time sponsors have asked for an investigation to see whether bribery was involved in awarding the 2020 to World Cup to Qatar. The e-book, released on the 11th of April, is available on www.amazon.in edited excerpts from an email interview with Jennings. How different is Omita from Foul? The Secret World of FIFA, Bribes, Boat Rigging and Ticket Scandals and What Prompted You to Write It. I have been developing my analysis of FIFA for more than a decade. At first I thought it was just another investigation into a few rotten apples. Since publishing Foul. In 2006, I realised that Blatter never criticised the bad guys in his leadership group. Eight out of 23 have been forced out in recent years, but Blatter never condemns them. I went back to my time in the 1980s investigating the Marthia in Palermo officially and began to see similarities. I write about this in the book. I looked again at the structures of Blatter's FIFA and the simple buying of loyalty through secret distribution of World Cup tickets and audited development. Grants. This is typical organised crime. I wrote this for academic journals with no response from FIFA. No answers, no comment and no suing. I asked myself what are the roots of this organised crime. I went to Rio de Janeiro, home of former FIFA, President Joa Havelange. Talked with prosecutors and a judge and discovered Havelange's links to Brazil's crime boff. I think that what I discovered in Brazil is stunning and explains why FIFA is a foul pit of corruption. Havelange 1974-98 and Blatter 1998 onwards have presided over some of FIFA's biggest scandals. What is the biggest scandal to have rocked FIFA in the past for decades? Havelange set up the rackets. Especially the $100 million around 600 crore now. Marketing and TV contract kickbacks that I first revealed on BBC TV in November 2010. Blatter kept the machine running because it kept him in power. That is the first big scandal. The second is that the leadership group at FIFA are gangsters. Not sellable people but members of a crime syndicate. Investigative reporters are used to making revelations and it is taking a few years to filter through. But it will. This analysis is accepted in Brazil where Havelange's links to organised crime were well known. The brave men and women of Brazil who risked their lives against brutal police to reclaim their flawed democracy will be demonstrating against the World Cup. Okay. Corruption. If it's doing that, I'm going to have 150 windows open. I don't care if it goes for three hours, it goes like this. It's better lifestyle, I'm more goofy now. Corruption. Corrupt.
Whoa. Philly Chimpism Polk and Ball Anarchy Wiki. Mirahis will be doing server maintenance beginning at 9 p.m. up on Sunday, 18 December 2020, to lasting until 5 a.m. up on Monday, 19 December 2022. During this time, some wickets may be intermittently unavailable or go into red only. Philly Chimpism. Aliases slightly more radical metabolism monk metal likes. Monkers, judo, history, politics, snowboarding, lifting, base stuff, Christianity. Big flopper. Dislikes degeneracy, LARPers, Semboys, Pagans progressivism, LGBTQ movement. Philly Chimpism. Religious Nationalism Polk and Paul Wiki. Mirahis will be doing server maintenance beginning at 9 p.m. up on Sunday, 18 December 2020 to lasting until 5 a.m. up on Monday, 19 Believe Wiktionary. English title alternative form for it believe obsolete, etymologized it from Middle English beleven by eleven, from Old English beletion to believe. From Proto West Germanic asterisk by lobigen to believe, equivalent to minus plus leave to give leave or permission to, permit, allow, grant. Evangelist Wiktionary. English start etymologized it from Old French Evangelist, from Ecclesiastic Latin Evangelista. From Ecclesiastical and sent Greek Epsilon Opsilon Alpha Gamma Gamma Epsilon, Lambda Ota Thigma Tau, Eta Thigma Evangelist Springer of Good News. From Epsilon Opsilon Alpha Gamma Gamma Epsilon, Lambda Ota Zeta Epsilon Sigma Sperotha Ota Evangelize Est I to Evangelize. From Epsilon Opsilon Alpha Gamma Gamma Epsilon, Lambda and Kron Sigma Evangelos, Bringing Good News. From Epsilon Epsilon U well, plus Alpha Gamma Gamma Epsilon Lambda Lambda Epsilon Ota New Angeling to announce. Pronunciation at IPAT slash Vend, L Street Flash.
Audio London, England 12.02 AM Sile, now needed evangelist, poor evangelists. Christianity and itinerantal special preacher, especially a vivalist, who conducts services in different cities or locations, now often televised. Synonym. Synonym Gospel, a biblical, a writer of a gospel, especially the four New Testament dispels Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, usually capitalized evangelist. Primitive church, a person who first brought the gospel to a city or region. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, a patriarch. By extension, a person marked by extreme enthusiasm for all support of NICORs, particularly with regard to religion. Quotations. 1992, J.D. Douglas, Who's Who in Christian History, ASBN, page 94, Booth, William, 1829 1912, English evangelist, founder and first general of the Salvation Army. His subordinates being expected to give him unquestioning obedience. 1994, Frank Lambert Peddler in Divinity, ASBN, page 10. Yet in the spreading consumer market of the mid-1700s, his renditions competed with others offering a far different account of the evangelist and his message. The famous artist William Hogarth mocked Whitefield into engravings, presenting the revivalist as a religious fanatic who held sway over the superstitious. Lower orders. 1996, Peter J. Conperles Buck, A Cultural Biography, ASBN, page 149. The film implies that C. Evangelist, as a type, is a fanatic, a sanctimonious prig, and ultimately a hypocrite. Technology, a person hired to promote particular technology. China COVID-19 update, wide awake young people at the heart of China's freedom protests. For the first time in decades, thousands of people have decided Chinese authorities to protest at universities and on the streets.